Hey you guys, what is up? Hey girl, hey. It is your girl Tosh and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm finally going to be getting out my monthly faves and fails on time. Sit down, grab a snack. We have plenty of products to go over. And if you are new here, what's up? My name is Tosh. I hope you will hit that subscribe button before you leave today as well as that little bell so that you're notified each time I upload. Let's get into the monthly faves. you guys so this month was a little weird for me I, I felt like I didn't try out a ton of new stuff like I normally do like normally y'all know how I am like I'll do full face videos a lot of the month <laughs> and I will test out tons and tons and tons of products this month like I said I feel like I really didn't do that um I'm trying to really get away from doing that let's go ahead and jump into the first batch of products if you will now these are the brushes that i tested out from moda if you didn't see the moda video i will link it up here they sent over several brush sets the only one that i have not actually had the chance to do like an in-depth play session with if you will is the little mini ones i'll have a picture here and the reason i haven't had a chance to really test those ones out is because i really haven't been anywhere thank you covid <laughs> Um, so yeah, these full size ones though, and they're still dirty. I left them dirty so you could see that I was clearly using them all. They're great. So if any of you are looking for a beginner brush set, I would definitely, definitely check these out. Um, they're just as good as any of the other Moda brushes, some if not better than ones that I've tried in the past. Um, I've been very, very, very happy with these. Some of these have actually already been washed already such as the neon uh, kit that I have here. Again, no shedding, no shedding on your face. I mean, no shedding, period. Um, they do a wonderful job at blending out cream products, powder products, you name it. Um, even the eyeliner brush is really, really, really nice. So again, they're all on sale at Walmart, which you guys will see in an upcoming vlog if I get it finished in time. <laughs> But you can also save 10% off if you purchase these from Moda's website. You can use code TOSH10. That will also be linked down below. All right, you guys. So the next product, I cannot remember if this was in my last Fave and Fails video, but I've still continued to use it, mixing it with other foundations throughout the entire month. I'm talking about the Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation. Now, I have been using this one like every time I put makeup on, I even have it on in a concoction that I made today with, um, let's see, what am I wearing? This foundation, a little bit of the Revlon Candid Glow, and my number seven. Yeah, I know, I mixed a lot together, but I feel like I cannot do my makeup without using this. And the thing is, is they still haven't come out with more shades, so it's like I went to purchase it the other day, but I don't want to because it's not my actual shade and I do have to mix this. By the way, I'm missing a bunch of nails. Um, I'm getting ready to do them tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I have to take these off though. But anyways, this is just so beautiful on the skin. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it up here for you. I love this foundation. I feel like out of all the ones that they've made similar to this, the Conceal and Define, the Conceal and Hydrate, even the XX Faux whatever foundation, this is my favorite. It's so beautiful. Oh. All right. This one is a rediscovery for me, and I believe that this came out like a year or so ago. I do have a video on it. I'm going to link it up here for you. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. Now, I have mine in the shade Y345. When I first tested this out, I was like, no, no, no. But then, I mean, I've been using it off and on for quite a while, and I just really, really like it. I'm actually wearing it today, and it just sets the skin really beautifully, adding a little bit more coverage. So, I mean, if you're using a foundation that maybe is not full coverage, um, mixed with other ones that aren't full coverage, such as myself today, this is going to add, help add some coverage to the skin. And if you want to wear it as an actual foundation, it does come with this little sponge. I do know that they've been having sales off and on on their website. Um, again, I will link this product down below. And it's probably going to be their website because 9 times out of 10, when you shop from a higher-end brand's website, especially close to holiday time, you are going to be able to find those products products on sale. Now I do know that they had a 30% off sale recently so something tells me that a really good one is coming. So if you've been wanting to check this out this time of year is the time
time to do it. All right, guys, the next product is a palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about both. Um, it was like a collection that came out from Wet n Wild. Coffee Cats. The Coffee Cat palette, I really, really love this one. I think it's a beautiful palette. Great for those who like neutral looks, everyday looks, work-friendly looks, you know, just kind of a one-and-done type of thing. Um, it's very, very, very user-friendly. I won't say it's the best palette that I've tried from Wet n Wild. I have several that I could recommend to you that I like better. But I do think that it is a nice palette. It has decent pigmentation. It's very, very, very beginner friendly. So, I mean, you know, it's not a lot to work with these shadows. They're very, very easy to blend out. They're not overly pigmented, but they're not like, ooh, I don't want to spend my money on that. Like, they're decent, in my opinion. Um, as far as the shimmers lasting all day, I do recommend using an eye primer with these. That way you can get more longevity out of them. I noticed if I don't use an eye primer with these, they do not last all day. So just use an eye primer or a concealer and you'll be good to go. Now the Ice Cream B collection, I love the lip glosses. However, this, it's okay. Um, I would recommend this for maybe a teen or, you know, a teen just getting into makeup or an adult even just getting into makeup. They're fun colors, but in my opinion, some of them just don't. They just don't do it for me in the pigmentation category, um, but they're not bad either. So like I said, if you're somebody just getting into makeup or what have you, I mean, I don't think you'll be disappointed. They're not horrible. They're just not my favorite. Um, I do think that it is a cute kind of color collection if you're just doing like one or two colors. Um, otherwise, I feel like you'd have to pull another palette out to work with this. That's just my opinion. But wasn't my favorite. I definitely recommend the Coffee Cat palette over that one. So of course you guys know I have a ton of palettes in here because I'm a palette freak. So just kind of bear with me. <laughs> the next product is from the Marilyn X Hard Candy collection. This is uh, the second collection that they came out with. And this is the Volumizing Mascara. Now it does only come in one shade. So the first time that I tried this, I wasn't exactly impressed, if you will. I didn't think it was bad, but I wasn't like, ooh, you know, let me use that again. However, since then, I have been pulling this one out quite a bit. And I feel like every time I've used it since then, it just keeps getting that much better, that much better, that much better. I will say with this one, I don't feel like it curls your lashes. You know, it just... I don't feel like it gives you a ton of volume unless you really layer it on. Like, I have probably two to three layers on my lashes right now. Again, it's not horrible, but it does need to sit. Like, you need to open it and then just set it to the side for a few days, and then it is really a decent formula. Um, again, it's not my favorite. If you were to ask me what I recommend, I would say the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. That is my favorite go-to right now. Um, but it's not bad. It's a decent formula. It doesn't flake on me. It just, I don't feel like it does, like, give me a ton of volume unless I layer a bunch of coats, so. Alright guys, the next product is the Profusion Moves Palette. You already know if you saw this video that I love this. If you haven't, I will link some of these videos down below in the description box if they don't fit up in the iCards. But I just really like the color story. Um, I think these are amazing palettes for $5.00. Great pigmentation. I am actually wearing the shade Love Sick here as my blush today, as well as Femi and Opal, these two shades right here, as my highlight. So, very versatile palette. You could use some of these as eyeliners, which I also did. I'm using the shade Monsoon as an eyeliner, and I blended it out with the shade Kindly. So I used this as an eyeliner today on my lower lash line and I blended it out with this shade here. These two I used as highlighters on my face today and then again I did use the shade Love Sick as a blush. It's just this really really pretty pink. I, five bucks you guys. You can't beat it. So the next product that I want to talk to you guys about is by Artist Couture. Um, and I love Artist Couture. I have not tried one product from that brand that I do not like. Hey, Mac Daddy, hey. <laughs> so this is the Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher in Icy Gale. Icy girl, my bad. So I'm actually wearing that on top of my lid shadows today. And what it does is you take a little bit of it out, you warm it up on the back of your hand, and then you take your finger and kind of tap, tap, tap it on the lid. And it just gives it this really pretty wet effect, but like with a little bit of like bling, if you will. Very, very, very pretty. 
He's always having sales on his website, so I will link that down below for you guys. Some of the Artist Couture products could be a little pricey in some people's opinion, um, but I think that the products are worth it because they are very, very, very long lasting. You are getting what you pay for and yeah, it's a great product. So the next product is dun, da, 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 another Profusion palette. I know you've seen this coming. This is the Profusion Minimalist palette. I thought this was a great palette for them to launch at the beginning of fall. Again, you guys, beautiful pigmentation with the Profusion shadows. You get tons of product in here. Look at all them shades. I think these are like $13 or $14. Totally worth it. There's also a discount code down in the description box that is not affiliate, but you can save some money on Profusion products, which, and they're already cheap anyways. So you get a ton of shades in here. It's, to me, this is more cool toned, fall ready, spring ready, purples, pinks, the glitters. The glitters are everything. I want to swatch one, but I won't. I'll leave the video up here so you can check it out. Um, the glitters are popping. Just let me tell you that. They're so good. Just great palettes. This would also be a great starter palette for that girl in your life that is just getting into makeup. As even though these are really pigmented shades, in my opinion, a lot of them, a lot of them, you will have maybe one or two misses sometimes in a Profusion palette. But these blend out so easily. I mean, they're almost mistake proof. So highly, highly, highly recommend the Profusion palette. Another product, this is not actually a new product, but it was new to me, and this is the e.l.f. Highlighter in White Gold. Sharon actually sent me this in a package a while back, and I just got around to using it. Now, I had heard a lot of complaints about these highlighters, so I had never purchased one, mostly because I have tons of highlighters, but I went ahead and scraped this top layer off right here, and you guys, it's pretty amazing. I mean, they're a little powdery, but... Like, who cares? It's going to make you go bling bling. <laughs> so, it is a very nice highlight, though. Um, I actually recommend this for a little bit lighter skin tones, in my opinion. Though I do still use it on my skin, this might not be for somebody um, that is my skin tone or darker. Because it is so bam, you know what I mean? It's so light, but... I like it. I don't mind wearing light, light highlighters, as you can see today I'm wearing one. So, highly recommend. e.l.f. is always having sales, too, so watch their website. The other product is from Alter Ego. Again, this is not a new product, and unfortunately, I don't have a video to go with this one yet. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see a video. This is the Alter Ego Daydream Palette. I got a ton of compliments in one of my videos. I'm going to link it down below, and I'll just put Daydream Palette or wearing Daydream palette. Um, a lot of you complimented my makeup and this is what I was wearing along with this lipstick by Amoris. This is the lipstick in the shade Bittersweet. It's this color here and I just matched it with this palette. It was like a really pretty pink look. I don't know what took me so long to buy this. Um, I love this. This is really, really good. Again, very pigmented, very easy to work with. You're getting a ton for your money. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you do not need the Huda Beauty version of this. I think this is for the Nude Rose or Huda Nude something palette. I can't remember. So it does come with a mirror. Great, heavy duty cardboard packaging. Really, really nice. This is what it looks like. So very beautiful palette, super affordable. I will leave their website down below as well. Beautiful formula, you guys. No, Alter Ego never disappoints me in their formulas. I think this is very, 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 very beautiful for those who love pinks and nudish blush pinks, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would rock this all year long, I actually did. And I think that what you're getting for the price is pretty, um, I'm not disappointed, I'll put it that way. So if you're looking for something like this or you were interested in the Huda Beauty palette, girl, don't spend your money on that, just buy this. <laughs> All right, you guys, moving on to the next product. This is from AOA Studio, y'all know Shop Miss A. This is the Clean Slate Primer. Now this one, I believe, is supposed to be similar to the No Pore Primer. I love the No Pore Primer from Shop Miss A. I do not like this. I feel like this didn't do anything for my pores as far as smoothing or anything like that. It says, Clean Slate is a lightweight, or is lightweight and melts into your skin, leaving silky smooth while extending makeup wear. I just don't like it. 
I don't feel like this smoothed at all, but it did break me out. So yeah, I don't love this one and I just, I don't recommend it. Sorry. <laughs> So the next product is also from Profusion. Y'all know, y'all know I'm ride or die Profusion. This is their contour or pro contour palette. It is a dead on dupe for the Kat Von D shade and light. I love this palette. Now, I will tell you when you dip your brush into one of these bad boys, it's super powdery, but just tap it off, get all that excess off. Girl, for Ren, this palette will have you snatched all day long. Like they're powdery, but when you apply them to the face, they are super creamy and just melt into the skin really nicely once you get them blended out. They last all day long. I'm not mad at it. I love it. The next product. I know what you're gonna say. Tasha, you are obsessed, you have issues, and this has to stop. <laughs> also from Profusion, you guys, these are their Perfect Pout Soft Matte Lip Tint. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I just, I think I have one in my bag, I'm sorry. Didn't bring it in here with me. So I have all these shades. These are decent. If you didn't see that video, I'll either link it in the eye or down below so you guys can see these swatch and then also on the lips. I'm not mad at these. Um, I do wish that when your lips are a little bit dry that they didn't show that texture, but I mean, what do you expect? They're a matte formula, so. Really, really nice though. They do last a good bit of time on the lips. They're super affordable. You can either buy them in a bundle on their website, discounted, plus another discount because they just lowered the price, or you can purchase them individually for whatever shades you want. Really pretty formula. Just make sure that you exfoliate your lips. The other product is also from them, and this is one of their Glitzy Pout Sparkling Lip Toppers. Girl, recommend. These are super pretty. Actually, I can apply one for you now. This one is in the shade Flirty. Y'all, do y'all see that on the corner of the lips? I don't know why some of my lipsticks do that. Oh, I didn't put a lip liner on today, that's why, duh. <laughs> So hopefully that fixed it so you guys don't have to look at anything gross. But I just applied this to the lips and it's just a really pretty kind of pinky, glitzy, sparkly moment for the lips. You can either wear this with or without. Um, they have a ton of colors, I believe, like an 8 or 10. Really, really pretty. All right, you guys. Sorry, I am back. I apologize. I had to change my lip product. The next product we're going to talk about is this little bad boy right here that was just making everything ooze out of my lips. This is the Artist Couture Sugar Baby Lip Gloss. Don't get me wrong. I love this lip gloss. I love it. I think it's beautiful. However, it just doesn't vibe with certain lip products. I had two different lipsticks mixed together on my lips with this. I recommend this to use with the Artist Couture lipsticks. Maybe because those are a matte formula and what I used was a satin. Otherwise, I don't have any issues out of this. It's a beautiful lipstick on its, or lip gloss on its own. And it pairs very well with the Artist Couture lipsticks, which are one of my favorite formulas this year. Oh my goodness. These are so good. This one is in the shade Power Play. And I've probably talked to you guys about these before. Very, very beautiful, very literally like one swatch lipstick. They last a good amount of time on the lips and they just wear very, very, very well throughout the day. I love these lipsticks. They're a matte formula, but they're a very comfortable matte formula. So if you're looking for a new lipstick brand, check it out. All right, guys, so this is another rediscovery for me. This is by Wet n Wild, and this is the Cinnamon Spice Lipstick. These are $2.99. Beautiful, beautiful color. I cannot stop rocking this shade. It is so gorgeous. Very, very comfortable with this new formula that they have, in my opinion, and I love how it wears down on the lips. It's not like a lot of lipsticks and where they wear off and they're kind of splotchy. To me, this wears off very evenly if you will really really like these the next product was a major fail for me this year and it, it failed so bad you guys that it did not make it into my five dollars and under video this is the beauty benefits solid lip gloss shine brilliant what of i don't know what shade this is but i could not even put this on my lips you guys when i opened it i was getting ready to put it on my lips i got up to here and the smell I don't know what this smells like, like Play-Doh, 
mold and old lipstick, I guess. It's horrible. So I will not be repurchasing these little $1 lip glosses. I'm happy to actually throw it in the trash now. Moving on, we have a product from 3CE, which is a Korean beauty brand. This is their, what is it? It is their Style Nanda Plumping Lips, and this is in red. This is really, really pretty on the lips. Seriously, you can wear it sheer, you can build it up. Very comfortable, very, very moisturizing on the lips. And I love that you can build the color up and take it from day to night. So if you wanna rock it in the daytime, you can have that really sheer wash of color, or you can do a few more swipes on the lips and take it into the evening. You know, you got a little date, little Zoom date or whatever, you can get your red on. So I will leave a link down below where you guys can purchase that off of Yes Style. That's where I buy, I buy the, my 3CE products. Um, it is an affiliate link, just FYI. So if you choose to use any of the links down below, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Hey guys, if you're enjoying today's video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, moving on. We have another XX Revolution item to discuss. Now, I actually used this product in a video a while ago, but I just wanted to mention it again because I'm still loving this little quad here. This is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. I'm going to leave a link down below where you guys can save $5 off of Revolution, who is always having sales, by the way. So if you sign up for their website through that link down below, can save five dollars off your first order and you'll get updates every time they're having a sale the next two products are brow products now this one is by la colors this is just called the brow pencil i liked it but i couldn't use it because it was too light so i love la colors if you guys don't know that if you're new here i think even for a cheap dollar store brand an indie brand i think they make some amazing products which leads me into the next product before i get to the other brow product talking about the LA Colors Nude Muse palette. Now you guys just saw the video for that not too long ago. Well, some of you did. If you haven't seen that, it'll either be. All right, you guys, I apologize for the different angle. I'm having some technical difficulties with my ring light and we're gonna go ahead and finish this though. So the next product that I wanna talk to you guys about is another Artist Couture lipstick. This is a newer shade for me. This is called Boy Toy and this is one of my faves. Now I like to use this one to add to to add to other lipsticks, if you will. Um, it's a little light for me. It's a nude, and I do have another one that I thought this was actually, but I do really love this one as well. I think that it just gives that nice little pout to the center of the lips when you're rocking a darker lipstick shade. So. We were talking about the LA Colors Nude Muse Palette. Again, if you have not seen that video, I highly recommend that you go check it out. LA Colors is one of those brands that is super underrated because they have a lot of their lower end, if you will, products sold in dollar stores. So a lot of people just don't even give them a second look. And I feel for them because they're missing out on some decent products. So this, again, is their Nude Muse Palette. I did a review, first impressions sort of look in the video that i linked for you guys but decent formula i've worn this several times already since reviewing it and i think for the price i think that this is a great palette even for those who are not beginners who are super you know experienced with makeup i think that these are a really good value i do have two more of these coming up on the channel so please stay tuned for that and if you're not subscribed you might want to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified when i do upload those the next product is also a palette. Now, this is from Zoeva, who I had a horrible first experience shopping with, so I haven't actually purchased any of their products yet, though I do still use some because I do love their formulas. So this product I got in a boxy charm. This is the Coco Blend Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I think it is a beautiful color story. I've been enjoying it. I'm wearing it today in concoction with the next palette that I'm going to talk to you about. Beautiful, beautiful formula, you guys. I mean, these shadows are super creamy. Like, they're just so stunning. I mean, so if... Sometimes when you spend a little bit more on a palette, you're getting what you pay for. You truly are. Um, it has more pigmentation to it sometimes. The longevity is super bomb and out of this world. Hopefully the lighting is allowing you guys to see everything. My favorite color in this palette is this guy right here. It is just so stunning. And I'll show you, it's a one swipe. I just, 
there you go so beautiful so if you're interested in this i do highly recommend it however if you're going to purchase something like zoeva i highly recommend trying to get it from either makari because a lot of people have this for sale on there brand new they haven't touched it still has the plastic and all of that there's also a makari link down below if you are new to makari to save ten dollars um so yeah Definitely check Macari for this. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Very easily blendable. And those do not crease. None of them. They wear all day. They are stunning. So I'm also wearing the next palette. And I did also do a video for this. Check the eye cards up above or down below. So this is by C Color. This is their Dust to Dawn palette. I'm going to let you go ahead and check out the video. This is a dupe for a very high-end palette if you don't know by looking at it. Very, very, very stunning formula. Super easy to work with. I'm talking creamy, buttery shades. $10 versus $49. $10. 10 dollars So I do know that the regular palette for this, the original, I'll say, is sold out on the actual brand website. So I would definitely opt for this one. I don't think that there's really any difference except for one shade. And once you get on to building this shade up, you can't even tell there's a difference. I mean, can we talk about that pigmentation for a second? That's just one of the shades. You'll have to go check out my video if you want to see, um, you know, anything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to two more LA Colors products. This is the Velvet Plush Creamy Lip Color in the shade Teddy. I'm actually wearing that on my lips right now. This, if you check out that LA Colors video, I actually swatch this and go into more detail about it. I recommend these. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> This product right here is the LA Colors Intense Color Lip Gloss and Dancer. I also actually reviewed this on camera as well. Really nice. That's all I'm going to say. The videos will be linked so you can go check them out. All right, guys. So moving on to the next Artist Couture lipstick. This is in Adore Me. This is my favorite shade out of the four lipsticks that I have of his. Girl. Look how beautiful fall ready. Just kiss my lips. Hello. Uh, it's like the most beautiful brown with like a hint of purple in it. Oh my God. I just, I meant, oh my gosh. I just love this, you guys. It is so beautiful. And I feel like this color would rock on every skin tone. To see this on super fair skin tone. Ooh, girl, girl. So beautiful. Again, his lipsticks are really, really, really creamy. I have four of them so far. I do plan on buying more um, because they are that good. All right, you guys, moving on to another product, or another two products, I should say. Three. We're going to do three products from the Berlin X Hard Candy collection. So I have both lipsticks here in nude and red. I thought these were really, really nice. I think that these would work great on all skin tones, to be completely honest with you. They are nicely pigmented. If you have not seen that video where I swatch these and apply one to the lips, I will leave it linked for you. Great value. I love the packaging. I know a lot of people get pissed when you talk about the packaging, but for somebody who is also a makeup collector as well as a makeup obsessed addict, um, <laughs> the packaging does matter to me. So I really like those. The palette. Now, a lot of people didn't like the color story in this palette, and I completely understand. I do. Now, I have a ton of other palettes, so it really didn't bother me to have to grab another palette to work with, but um, at first I thought I was going to be really, like, annoyed with this palette because of the color story, um, and I thought that some of the shades swatched kind of crappy, but again, you guys, swatches really don't mean a whole lot. You have to see how it applies to the eye, and these actually worked really, really good. Do I recommend the palette? If you're somebody who is a Marilyn Monroe fan, and like me, I mean, clearly, then yeah, I would say absolutely pick it up. I think it's only like $7, but if you know that you're not going to use this because you don't want to pull another palette out or what have you, and you're really not interested in collecting this piece, then no, I don't recommend it. If you're somebody who is inexperienced with makeup, I would probably say no, I don't recommend it. Just because looking at this color story, it's kind of like, what do I do? I mean, and I've used makeup since I was 15, I'm what, 37, and I looked at it and go, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> so, I mean, that's how I feel about it, but it is decent, and you guys saw on camera how it blended and how the shades were, so 
All right, guys, moving on. I want to talk about two more AOA products here. These are from Shop Miss A's in house line. We have the AOA Studio Pow Lighter, and this is in the shade Nabella. Uh, I used this on camera in my $5 and under video that I did recently. Beautiful highlighter. I actually want to pick up more of these whenever I can. Um, this is the AOA Slim Brow. Really, really like this actually. I have been using this the entire month um, since, gosh, since way before I even hauled it. And I just, it's beautiful. This is equivalent to a high end brow pencil. I cannot wait to get more of these. Um, I use mine in the shade Dark Brown. And I actually like it more than this. And I have tons of these. So that's how I feel about that. So the next product, I missed this one at the bottom of the little container. This is the Profusion Glitzy Pout Sparkling Lip Tawapa in Celebrate. I will leave the video linked either up here or down below where I actually swatched all these. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I really like this one. So, last and final product is from Flower Beauty. This is the Petal Play Eyeshadow Palette. Well, Eyeshadow Quad, I suppose. I really like this, you guys. If you haven't seen my Flower Beauty video, I'm going to go ahead and leave it linked for you. Very, very great pigmentation. Um, I feel like it's a great beginner palette. I know that they do have several other quads that you can pick from. Very, very easy to blend. These lasted all day on the eyes. Very easy to work with. Very easy color stories to put together and make looks out of them. I mean, you can get a couple of looks out of this. Obviously, I picked the nudist palette that they have, but I think these are pretty great for what they are, and I think that the price point is pretty solid on these. So, All right, you guys. So last and final product. Do we know what it is? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, guys, no, seriously, this is a Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. Now, if you didn't get a chance to check that video out, please stop what you're doing. Go check that video out because I'm not going to get into a lot of detail other than I have been using this consistently throughout the entire month since reviewing this. And I'm just going to say I like it. I'm not going to give any details because obviously I want you to go watch the video. Um, I've been mixing this with a lot of other uh, foundations that I really, really love, and I've been enjoying it. Um, so if you were curious to see what this foundation was about and how it made it in for my faves this month, then yeah, go check out that video. All right, you guys, I feel like I was a little bit all over the place, but I am just really happy to look at this pile of makeup here and know that I only had a few fails this month. It, I mean, it just feels really good. The majority of the products that I tried out were amazing products. I enjoyed playing with them throughout the month. I've enjoyed wearing them and I've actually gotten quite a few compliments this month on makeup looks. So that made me very happy. Um, some of the products were sent to me um, by Sharon as well as I'm looking around. I'm thinking Sharon. Yeah, the rest of these were purchased by me with my money. So, um, I think I had a great month. I really cannot complain to only have a couple of fails. So, I want to know what products this month did you purchase based on my recommendations? Did those products work for you? Are you still using them? Did you have any fails of products that you purchased this month? All right, you guys. So, I just want to let you know that we are still having a very big giveaway going on. It is the biggest giveaway that I've done on my channel thus far. So if you made it to the end of the video, woohoo, especially if you're new here. Um, so we're trying to reach 25K, which is not really that far off. Um, we're very, very close. And basically what I'm doing is I'm giving away a pair of authentic Armez shoes. Now, if you can't wear the shoes, you can sell them and get at least $500 out of them if you sold them on Mercari, um, Poshmark especially. Um, they are authentic. They do come with all of the products that you would get if you purchase them yourself in the store, as well as the receipt. It is authentic. So you could actually take these products to an Hermes store near you and have them authenticated. I'm also giving away two bundles of makeup worth over $100 a piece. So there is going to be three winners. I will either link down in the description box or check the community tab. Um, if you just go to my channel page, click community tab, scroll down, probably about mm, eight to 10 posts down by now, and it will have all of the rules there so that you can check those out and how you can enter. You can enter this giveaway daily until we reach 25K. So feel free to share, 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 share 
all of your all of these videos with friends and family that you think would be interested definitely want to share about the giveaway with them because the more people that enter the better and remember again i'm going to say this again i'm drilling it into your head you can enter this giveaway daily the more that you enter the more that you are active on my channel um, whether it's this video, the last five videos, um, the more active you are, the better your chances are of winning. So always make sure that you go back to that initial giveaway video and you want to comment on there too. Just make sure that you're reading the rules. So um, again, I want to reiterate this until it is like stuck like glue. You want to be as active as possible on my channel um, as well as my Instagram if you're uh, following me over there because the more active you are, the better your chances are like it boosts them way up all right you guys so if you're new here again what's up my name is tosh tasha whichever i want to say hey girl hey welcome i hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and join our fam bam here before you go today also don't forget to click that bell so that you don't miss out on future giveaways actually have a couple more coming up so stay tuned for that i want to thank you guys as always for taking time out of your busy day to come hang out with little old me <laughs> appreciate you guys and love you to the moon and back and i will see you on the next one stay safe i love you guys